fourth quarter and give them free throws. Now we're back within eight and no times off the clock. David Stennis takes his seat. Honey Collins in the game. Here's Scott. Against pressure. Charge in. or block. Which one? What was the call? Foul on Collins. Away from the basket. Yeah, the guy who Away wasn't, from the play. wasn't involved in the Scott Coffee collision here. From behind. There you go. There it is. From behind. Isn't it amazing the things these officials can see? That's an absolutely amazing the things they can see. Maurice Scott, three out of three at the foul line this afternoon. He's also had a pretty good game. Yeah, he really has. He stepped it up today. The only senior in the group that sees significant minutes for this club. Second shot. Rebound Napoleon Harris having a big game. Look at this matchup. Jack put his head down and it's taken away. Now Reese Dolan and Harry. Oh, a foul over the top. I think they'll get Corey Harris of Thornton for that one. And free throws for Westinghouse on the other end. They yep. get a chance to get it back down to seven if he, they can hit from the line. He came down on the back of Coffee. Eric Harry, no, is that three or four? Three. Adrian Coffey at the line for Westinghouse. No, they're going to switch it. I thought it was Coffey. It's going to be Marvell Hennigan. Oh, another miss. A one and one miss. One, two, two, six. Point guards at the top, then it goes two down. Corey Harris had it spin all the way out. But Westinghouse just hanging on in this game, Kenny. They have to have a couple of baskets and get this lead cut. This is the man you want to have the ball. Collins. Boy, it looks like a foul there. He got the shot anyway. That's tough. <laughs> that's, Collins. That's tough. And the ball taken away. Hennigan's got to go oh, on if it were Turnover by Westinghouse and a turnover that really hurt. 4.32 left, 53-46 Thornton. And we're back after these local messages. 60 new super cabs are on sale at the John Mears Auto Mall. 1997 F-150s, Ford Rangers, and Nissan Hardbots. Over 60 super cab pickups on sale for as low as $12,995. John Mears Auto Mall. It's a program car special purchase at Uftring. $15,000 95 Chevy Corsicas with air, automatic, ABS, and airbag, only $99.90. And fully equipped $18,000 95 Volts Cutlass Supremes, only $12,990. This week at Uftring Chevy Old South Geo. Spring, 93. Normal rainfall. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. 94. Dry. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. 95. Wet. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. Frontier's chemistry activates with less moisture and stays in the weed zone better when it's wet. For safe, season-long grass control. Wet, dry, or average. If you've been using Dual 2, you can do better. Frontier. you buy DeKalb, burning our way on more of your acres. It's Mark Gannick of Hoshman Estates. We saw him play last night in the quarterfinals. A perfect 4.0 grade point average and only missed one question mm. on his ACT. He may dial us up on the website. You can too. HTTP colon double slash www period IHSA dot org. Joe, help me. Down over here, remember that big dunk by Melvin Eli earlier? Well, it actually moved the base of the backboard about a half an inch. You see the glass here from Thursday night's 
accident when the backboard actually was broken. So I'll tell you what, that was a monstrous slam. Thank you, Nathan and Nick, the ball boys, for pointing that out. Melvin back in the game and back on the attack, but he missed the shot. Westinghouse needs points in a hurry, and they get two from Edmund Allen. Boy, Edmund Allen is really taking into his own hands that, hey, I can score. He's not looking to pass. Edmund Allen has 12 in the game. He and Jimmy Sanders, a dozen apiece, and it's 53-48. That 11-point lead is struck to five. They need a good defensive stop. Pick and roll to the big guy. Nice work by Eli down on the block. Set the pick, then roll to the bucket. Made the ball fake and shook the defender and just dropped it in. A lot of composure right there. Well, he's tournament experience. Sanders, there's the fake by Collins. Not this time. Rebound Eli off the floor. to Eli. It's up, yeah, it's in, and it counts. Boy, you notice what happens when he comes back into the basketball game. Four quick points, a rebound. He was on the bench. He comes in, and things just seem to happen. He just throws his man. That coffee going for the steal. Eli goes up nice and smooth for the bucket as Marvell Hennigan comes in from the weak side, hits him on the arm, and Eli can't get the three-point play. The things just seem to happen when he's on the floor. No, oh, they couldn't hang on, though. Hennigan missed it. Eli in front, taken away. Edmund Allen to steal. Under three minutes. Inside. Good look by Collins. Coffee, no. Eli rebound. They've got a man out front. Eric Terry. Four or none, Westinghouse, everybody going to the boards. Has to get back and play defense. Time out, Westinghouse. Westinghouse in big trouble with 2.35 to go. Top ranked Thornton leading by 11. One of your network sponsors is Country Company. I really miss having my folks around. And their friendship. Oh, boy, he's huge. And, uh, and their support. Yeah, you know, it seems like just yesterday we were talking about their life insurance. Yeah, about how it could be used for their retirement. So where are they this month? <laughs> Alaska. That's great. Country companies. It's nice to know when it matters most, the country's behind you. I guess you can still benefit from life insurance, even when you're very much alive. Hey, Boopy. thing you have to do everybody's crashing the offensive board but one person has to come back now as you see herring coming down for the slam look one two three four five dark shirts no one back on defense just an easy slam dunk that pass is just scoring ahead by 11 we're under two and a half to go He's strong to the basket, and he scores in a quick timeout by the house. Wait, you know what he just jumped up to call that timeout? <laughs> we'll take the break. 2.16 left. It's a nine-point game here in Peoria. One of your network sponsors, Ford. Precedent. $1,000 cash back on Ford Escort. Are you with me on this? For a limited time, your local Ford dealers offering $1,000 cash back on all new three-door Escorts. That's $1,000 cash back on the number one selling small car in America. Escort already gives you more features, more safety, and more value. Now you get $1,000 cash, too. What could you do with an extra $1,000? Why? $1,000 cash back on Escort ends soon. See your local Ford dealer today. There's more to afford. Yeah! 
Training is such a bore. Nothing's more intense than slamming a dude. Whoa. Well, Andre's really on fire. Whoa. Gotta hand it to those new coaches. Bravo! Brilliant! Max. Good shot! Out. Man, watch the way Adrian Coffey goes to the hoop. With the authority, big, strong, lays it up. Now watch the way he jumps back up. Watch this. Yeah. He's a timeout. <laughs> Is he pumped up or what? Thornton gets it in. Napoleon Harris. Picks up his dribble. He had a clear path to the basket. And a foul called on Westinghouse. Adrian Coffey. Adrian's new to Westinghouse. I don't know if he's checked into the debate team yet or not. But <laughs> he was working the officials during that last time out. Well, he came from Whitney Young, and they're known for their debate team. I'm sure he was on it there. <laughs> Eric Herring makes the first one. Looking more and more like Thornton and Manuel in the championship game tonight. Second one good. Leads back to 11. And th this will be the first time in the history of the tournament that the same two teams have met in consecutive years for the championship. And I'll tell you right now, don't be surprised if they meet in a third straight championship game next, next year. year. A lot of underclassmen on that manual team as well. Sanders, three deflected. Got out of there with it. Thornton content to kill some clock here. Under two minutes. It's just amazing when Melvin Eli came back into the game. It was a five-point game, and things just happened when he came in again. Eli finds Harris. They back it out again. Oh, Harris no hurry. Oh, trying to cross oh. over in traffic. And well, you ball. don't want to follow him. Why, why do you foul him if you're Thornton? <laughs> Harris compounds the mistake for Rocky. That made no <laughs> sense. He gave the ball up and then fouled the man who stole it. Okay, Rocky uh, Collins gets two. And Thornton wants to time out before Collins gets the basketball. I think Rocky just wants to tell his guys, look, we're a minute and a half away from the championship game. You've played well, you've played hard. Let's not do silly things and make mistakes like the one that just happened to stop the clock and put them on the, on the free throw line. The slam dunk contest, the double A finals coming your way right after this game. Seth Langley, Lonnie Holland, Vincent Thomas, and Oscar Jackson. The four finalists in Class A, and they, or Double A rather, and they move on to meet the Class A winner tonight. And there's a slam. That was Eric Herring's slam. Meantime, Frank Grissetto on the Westinghouse bench. Just calm, cool, and collected. It's a good timeout by Rocky just to go over a few things. Guys, we have three timeouts. Don't forget we have three, so you can always use your three. Collins has the one and one. Coffee battling for the lead. Something else, isn't he? There is an, another scuffle inside, and this time it's Napoleon Harris and Coffee. You know, they need to calm Coffee down. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, it's getting out of control. Well, he was fouled on the play. He will go to the free throw line. Okay, well, that's okay that he was fouled, but he needs to calm down. Super bonus now for both teams. Go, 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 go
Coffee just a 49% foul shooter. He missed a couple earlier in the game. Looks pretty good on those two. 61-52, a minute 32 left. I guess Westinghouse will have to start to foul now. Just play keep away if you're Thornton. No, Scott. Better foul them. They do. Collins got him. Well, the Mountain Dew player of the game. We'll give it to Napoleon Harris. It's kind of a toss-up between Napoleon and Melvin Eli, I think. And Eric Herring also has had a good game for Thornton. But we go with Harris, who had that big second quarter, which uh, got Thornton in front and really propelled them uh, into the lead that they have now. That's brought to you by your local Pepsi Butler and Mountain Dew. Just do the do, and that's what Thornton's trying to do here. Scott missed the first, made the second. Ten-point lead, a minute 22 to go. Just go back, play a little token defense. You don't have to try to block every shot. Near steal, coffee in traffic. Coffee to the floor, out of bounds to Thornton. Mm. Well, Westinghouse, you'll foul right away, I would think. Just foul him right away. Try for the quick steal. They don't get it, so they do commit the foul. Didn't take Collins long to get into the foul <laughs> category, did it? No, Collins. The foul column. Four already. As we get set to shoot these free throws, how about the American Dairy play of the game, Kenny? Well, let's see it. Here's our play of the game. Melvin Eli has had another great game. He was in foul trouble early. Got coffee up, takes a couple of steps, reverse, slams it down. Beautiful play by Melvin Eli. Scott splits the free throws, and it's 63-52. Wild three-point shot, not there. Antoine Randall-L out of traffic. Circles back out. Fouled by Hennigan. Hennigan with the foul. And that's five fouls on Marvell Hennigan. Six foot two inch junior heads for the bench with eight points in this game. Charles Williams. Six foot two inch senior gets a look here on the state championship floor for Westinghouse. As Antoine Randall L gets two free throws. How loud would this place be tonight with Peoria playing for the championship at home. Well, that's one of the things you get, Kenny, I think, in this move from Champaign to Peoria. You know, the basketball in Champaign really hasn't been that good. I think Centennial was last in the state tournament in 84, and it's been since 1969 since Champaign Central has made it down. you got a Peoria team in there almost every year, and that will help build the local enthusiasm, no question. Well, it's been a tough ticket to come by. That's for sure, and I would imagine tonight's game would be a very difficult ticket to get. But do not call me. <laughs> every seat has been sold for every session this weekend, as it was for the Class A tournament. You'll see some empty chairs as you look around on some of the pictures that we show you, just because uh, some of the schools whose teams have already played uh, will have their fans take off, get rested up for the next game. Yep. But they'll have a jam-packed house in here tonight. And we talked about that, and that's a problem that I don't know how they would solve it. Uh, Mel Sheets, the new Trier coach, was telling me yesterday that a new Trier had a couple of thousand people who would have loved <laughs> to, to come, finish the yeah. game, the second game yesterday. And there were plenty of empty seats, but those tickets All had been sold for by the teams that played in the first game. Maybe you should sell the ticket game by game. Instead well, of session by session. It's almost impossible to but clear the arena. Impossible to do the, yeah, you're right. So it's just something they'll have to try and figure out somehow. That's been a problem forever, though, and really, I don't know if there is a solution to that. Westinghouse throws it away with 45 seconds left. Thornton 65-52, and the Wildcats about to go to 31-0 and into the final game against Manuel tonight. The 
Napoleon Harris, our player of the game. Eric Harry. Well, the Thornton fans are making noise. We are proud of you. Raymond Johnson commits the personal foul. And, and somewhere in that crowd is Sherry Jackson, the sister of former White Sox outfielder Bo Jackson. She's a teacher at Thornton High School. The purple will be out in force tonight. And so will the orange and black manual. More substitutions. 24 into the ballgame for the first time for Thornton. Larry McCarron. Eric Herring and Melvin Eli hit the pine. Corey Harris also on for the Wildcats for these final 34 seconds. It looks like Eli's limping a little bit. Well, he's on the floor at the end of the bench. I think he'll be fine. Going for a state championship, he'll be okay. Jimmy Sanders gets a well-deserved round of applause from everyone here all the fans that that young man is a division one prospect he'll go somewhere and be a fine point guard he's a fine student also scott hits the second free throw you'll see sanders and the house in that short turnaround game they'll play in the consolation game later tonight against new trier colin wild three won't go tipped out of bounds by corey harris Another Wildcat gets a taste of the state tournament competition. Denard Eves into the ball game, replacing Antoine Randall L. What a game he's had. Smile on his face. Job well done, says Rocky Hill. 67-52. Johnson long three-pointer. Rebound up and in. That's the kind of chip I like. You know the way he just came out of nowhere, Dan? Didn't bring the ball down, controlled it in the air. 3 on one. Nice look to Napoleon Harris gets the win. And we are finished. The second semifinal game has come to a close and the Thornton Wildcats, the number one team in the state of Illinois, Go to 31 and 0, and they'll play for the championship tonight against Peoria Manual. Your final score: 469, Westinghouse 54. Great performance by Melvin Eli, Napoleon Harris, Eric Herring. We saw a couple of great performances. Jimmy Sanders put on his show as usual. Right now, let's check in with Joe Passion. Well, Coach, the pressure you've talked about all year is down in our one game. You're back in the championship. First time ever, I understand, in history that the same two teams meet in the state title game again. What got you there in the second half? Well, we, we stopped turning the ball over, and we stopped that transition game. Um, that was, those, those were the keys of the game. Uh, we knew if we could handle that press, it wouldn't hurt us that much. And uh, we were able to get back on defense and really slow up their transition game. I, our, I was a little concerned that they out-rebounded us, I think. I got to see the stats. Well, our player of the game, Napoleon Harris, the junior forward, really a tremendous game. 13 points, 10 rebounds unofficially. Congratulations on being player of the game. Next thing, too, they really went to you. They saw you got a hot hand. You started to take control on that. Were you conscious of that? Uh, yes, I was. They saw me hit a couple of shots early on. And Antoine, my recent Eric, kept giving me the ball inside around the L. And I um, hit a couple of big shots and helped my team. That's got to be a great advantage, obviously, to have. That's one of the reasons why you're number one and undefeated. So many players can step up and be the player of the game, can't they? Yeah, well, we have a, a, a collection of kids that uh, are good ball players. And on any given night, any one of them can, can uh, lead us in scoring or rebounding or whatever. Napoleon, having been here last year, now you get a chance. Everyone's back again, practically, and uh, get a chance at manual again. What are your thoughts on that? Have you guys talked about a chance at manual again? Well, we haven't really said too much about who we play. It's just a matter of us getting out there on the court, doing the things the coach teaches us to do in practice and win the ball game. I 
go get it. You get that chance tonight. Congratulations, both of you. Coach Rocky Hill is Thornton Wildcats, number one, and unbeaten now. And they're going to be playing Peoria Emanuel for the second time in a row. First time in history, and you'll have a chance to see it right here on the IHSA TV network. And we are back with the Class AA Denny's Grand Slam Dunk Finals. And we're back with that and lots more Carver Arena following these messages. With so many viewing choices, Zenith makes selecting and recording programs simple at last. Featuring Star Sight, the only on-screen program guide that lets you select any show, any time, and record at the touch of a button. Available now with Zenith's best picture ever. Zenith with Star Sight. See them at your Zenith dealer. Welcome back here live at Carver Arena. Thornton moves on to the championship game with their big 15-point win. And here is the consolation game tonight. It'll be the house against New Trier in an interesting battle. Chicago Public League champion against Mel Sheets in his final game as a high school coach after 32 years. And then the championship game. Does it look familiar? It should. Same two teams as last year. Number one against number two in Illinois. That's how they write the script, Kenny McReynolds. And they yep. will continue to write that chapter tonight. Well, it should be a great matchup, a repeat of last year's game, Joe. So we're really looking forward to Manuel versus Thornton. And I'm looking forward to Lonnie Holland the <laughs> second. I talked to Lonnie yesterday. Well, I know you're going to have fun with this. this. Should be something. I'm looking forward to Denny's and some dinner after all this. The slam dunk contest is coming up. The Class AA Finals, and here are your contestants, and we're going to have that for you and lots more from America's Original. March Madness after these local messages. Just as you can count on March Madness to give you great basketball, you can count on Veldy Lincoln Mercury to give you great deals. Like this new Mercury Tracer for only $11,780. Kaboom! Or only 24,800 slam dunks this 1995 town car into your garage. Are you looking for a car dealer that you can count on to be fair, shoot straight, and give you a great deal? Well, come on. Come to Veldy Lincoln Mercury. You can count. This is a first in automotive history. It's your Ford dealer's great percent event. I know what you're thinking. What's in it for me? 10 popular Ford cars and trucks with 4.8% financing or up to $2,000 cash. Wow! Now you can get $1,000 cash on Ford Windstar, the only minivan to earn a five-star crash protection rating for driver and front passenger. Or eight or up to $2,000 cash. The great percent event. See, there really is more to a Ford. See you there. Well, here we are back live at Carver Arena. Now that the finals and consolation brackets are all set for tonight, beginning with our telecast at 6.30 with pregame coverage, it's now time for the Denny's Grand Slam Dunk Spectacular. These are the four finalists in Boys Class AA. And starting things off from Mubanzi Valley in Aurora will be Oscar O.J. Jackson. Jackson was indeed spectacular, Kenny, in Thursday night's preliminaries. 64 kids from around the state of Illinois competed to be the final four of Class AA. O.J. Jackson was one of them. Now remember, they've got to make their first two dunks to get nice. to the style points that come in in whatever dunks they get after see, that see, inside a 45-second clock. Oh, see, the first one, he was smart, nothing fancy, because he had to make those first two. Didn't get up high enough. There goes O.J. to get another one. He gets two. He's still got 19 seconds left, and they're reminding him that he's still got time on the clock. O.J.'s father, by the way, played with the Atlanta Hawks back in 1975. Really? Who's his dad? I'm trying to figure it off the top of my head. His first name's not on the seat I have in front of me. Real smart kid, though. Had a four-point GPA when he was in high school in Minnesota prior to coming to Wabonji Valley in Aurora. So O.J. Jackson of Wabonzi Valley, and he'll be followed here by Vincent Thomas of Wheaton North High School out in the Chicago West suburbs. 40 points, 40 points for O.J. Jackson. 
And here's Vincent Thomas of Wheaton North. Get and those he long gives arms. the double-handed windmill. Get those long arms. He could probably take off from a ways away and just lean his arms out. And he's out with those arms and get the ball.